Uh, my name is Daoud Mozum. Uh, I'm here uh, at UACL as a student in um, computer human interaction. And in this course, we've been looking at a number of ways um, to, in, you know, innovatively interact with the computer. You know, break away from the mouse and keyboard, do something new. What I came up with uh, was this application to um, use a mouse-like device, but not really a mouse. You know, it's uh, I pretty much hooked it up to a glove. You know. And um, well, let me just dive straight in. Right here, we have our my application. Uh, standard stuff, I'm going to need to calibrate it, um, and then after I calibrate it, I'm going to show you how the, the device works. I can, you know, click with the fingers, move things around. And finally, one of the, uh, a simple application of this is to use a whiteboard and um, draw without actually having to go up to a whiteboard and draw on it. You could just be far away. So to start off with, when I run the application, the first thing that I normally do is run a calibration. Uh, this is nothing that big. Uh, all it does is make sure the Wiimote knows exactly where you intend to have your virtual uh, drawing space at or your virtual screen. So I just start pointing to where I think my maximum uh, bounds are going to be. Oh, there we go. And, And that's my third point, and that's my fourth point. Once calibration is done, so I click here and it holds, it pretty much pinches the, uh, the window, uh, the form that I'm using, and then I can move it around. Let's say I wanna let it go, unclick, oh, there we go. And then we go to the window behind it, and then we click by pinching, it goes up behind it. We come down back to the same window, click, right. So I can use this device now pretty much like a normal mouse. Now, you also got to be careful where you're clicking. Um, now next, I wanted to show you basically using it like a whiteboard. Here we have our um, whiteboard. And to start off with, I pretty much, it's like a little paint program. So let's say I increase the size of my um, paintbrush and I take a black brush and I There we go, it's pretty simple. And while this currently, um, the whiteboard itself is a pretty simple application for, the, for this device, uh, there are a lot of possibilities for it. You can use it um, uh, in, in presentations, you can use it um, in demonstrations of, of other programs, uh, you could do it in um, in in live settings. Uh, you know, if you're going to have a, a, a talk or or a lecture, you could always just go around, and you don't always have to be really close to the whiteboard or really close to the computer. You could be far away. You could go up to your um, sorry. You could go up to your students. Uh, you could go up to your faculty or colleagues, and and uh, have a, a lot more freedom from just either the computer or the whiteboard. All right, so uh, the device that I use, the, uh, the hardware right here, is first of all the Wiimote and this little glove that I patched up. Um, uh, one thing I realized that to work with the Wiimote, you need to have uh, decently powerful IR diodes. You, know? uh, you, get, you can get cheap ones that work at 10 milliwatts, but these ones over here are 100 milliwatts, that's 10 times the power, and uh, it, it detects it a lot easier and make, you don't get a lot of jitters. So. I got two 100 um, milliwatt uh, IR diodes. Uh, there's a battery pack right there for two AA batteries. I hooked it up to a switch right here and a small resistor, about 10 ohms. Um, for all of you who are familiar with electronics, uh, it's basically a parallel connection of the IR to the battery um, with a one common 10 ohm resistor. Um, in case you're wondering, it pretty much gives you a 90 milliwatt output per diode. And um, yeah, it's just, and the rest of it is just tape and glue, you know? And, and of course, a little hairband there because the wire wouldn't stick. But yeah, super glue, lots of super glue, and some uh, electrical tape to pretty much hold everything together. And um, an easy, comfortable fit. There you go. Well, uh, if you keep using it, you'd probably get really good at it, you know, and come up with something like this.
사랑